So I just really received this from FedEx today. It's my new Bigode A2 EUC. And over here is the InMotion B12. So what I wanted to do is make this smaller e well that I can just throw in the car easy. I am a novice rider. I don't go very fast and I don't do any crazy stuff because I'm old. <laughs> and my bones break at my age. <laughs> so what do we got in the package here? I guess this is uh, the specifications on the wheel. But I saw that uh, Bigode M10 4, I believe it's called. I didn't really care for it. I like this one because it's a taller wheel and it's more, probably it'll ride a lot like my uh, In Motion V12, which is a great wheel. I've owned uh, two other wheels that I gave away to. Uh, my stepson and to his uh, now wife, I gave them each one. Because they were the skinny beginner wheels. I didn't have any luck at all riding those beginner wheels. But for some reason, I just could not stand up on them. And it took me months and months and months of self-training and watching hundreds of uh, YouTube videos on how to ride. Eventually, I got it, and I'm getting uh, pretty good at the B12 now, which I really love that wheel. But I'm looking at my wheel. So, in here we have the charger. Which is... Uh, very small in comparison to the B12 here on your right. And this is the one for the A2. Well, it's certainly a lot lighter than the B12, which is a huge plus. Oh, we got a goodie bag. Look at there, it came with uh, hand guards. Wrist, wrist guards. Yeah. Fantastic, because I can't find my other wrist guard. I only got one. Fantastic. And I ordered this through e -Wilts. And uh, I talked to a gentleman by the name of uh, Eric, and he was very helpful. Matter of fact, uh, I almost talked myself out of this wheel and went with uh, the Begode 4, I believe it's called, which is a much bigger wheel. And I thought, because I, I, I want a suspension wheel eventually. But uh, I decided, no, I want to keep with my original purchase because I like this one because I can just throw it in the vehicle and take off. Whereas I can do that with my uh, B12, but it's a little heavy. So it's nice looking wheel. I like this one because it comes with the uh, pads already installed on it. And it's got the really nice uh, like spoke foot, foot plates, which are spoked. <clears throat> and I, <clears throat> excuse me, I recently put these same uh, or similar pads, plates rather, on my V12. I took off the ones that came with it. Because you never felt secure, your feet felt like they were going to slide off. So once I put those on, my riding got much better on the V12. And what's nice about this wheel is they already come on it. And they, they seem like really nice pedals. 
I really like this wheel. Nice, that's a big tire. I had told Eric I wish it would have came with the street tire, but it uh, wasn't available at the time. But I like this wheel, it's a good looking wheel. Okay, what's this? This right here is your charging port. Okay. And the reason why it's designed this way, because this is the only e-wheel made that is actually waterproof. Oh, nice. So that's, that's a really nice feature. Uh, the B12 is water resistant, which means you can walk, ride it in the rain and stuff like that. But it is nowhere near waterproof. You've seen videos on this. This wheel, if you've researched this wheel, pointed at me, huh? Honey, I thought you. But anyway, <laughs> I'll edit that out. But anyway, if you watch the videos on this wheel, they actually throw this wheel in the ocean. And that, or well, it seemed like yeah. an ocean. And he uh, rides the wheel out of the water. It's really amazing. So this is the only wheel currently on the market that's waterproof. The only thing that would make this wheel perfect for me is if it was a suspension wheel, which it's not, but that's okay. This wheel is much slower than my V12. The V12 has a top speed of, I think it's 43 miles an hour. That's okay, because this old guy ain't never gonna ride it that fast. This wheel, I think, is like 25 miles an hour, which is about the speed I'm comfortable with riding. That's a little fast for me, too. I'm comfortable with about 20 miles an hour. But it's a good looking wheel. Mm -hmm. Now, to take this out of transport mode, I believe you press this top button and hit the power on button five times. Set that off. Look at that. That didn't work. Oh, I had a pretty blue headlight. One, two, three, four, five. There it goes. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Now we'll turn it off. Turn it back on. It should be out of transport mode. And it, I must have done something wrong. That's what I did. Okay. Has to be on me before you do that. Now shut it off. Now turn it on. And it is indeed out of transport mode. Nice. This is a pretty wheel. It's got a nice bright headlight on it, and I love the, the back oh, lights. That. That's cool. And it even, I heard. Let's people know if you're turning left or right or not. Huh. Very cool. So it's got a little kickstand here. It's got a nice heavy duty fender, which is made out of metal. And this is a nice soft vinyl or rubber, which is very, looks like it'd be pretty comfortable on the legs. And the nice thing about it is these are screwed on and not just glued on like so many of the wheels that you see. So this is a really good... I'm this is really, a nice looking wheel. I'm impressed with the looks of this wheel. I'm not even a wheel fan. That's a nice looking wheel. Yeah, it is. And that's how we turn the headlight on. And there's a strobe. And then that's off. On. One press. But you know, it's constant blue when you've got the headlight on. Yeah, so, so it's kind of like it. a driving light, huh? Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's kind of like cool. a, a driving light. So, I don't know if I want to film this part, Whoa. but we're going to give it a try. Sorry, right. had to get up off the ground. Okay. How's it feel? There he goes. Look. Yeah. 
Well, the the tail lights were was flashing. It was kind yeah. of cool looking. So when I pick this up, the wheel will spin. That's the kill switch. Well, now I got it. There we go. So anyway, I'll have to get into the app to adjust the settings to my liking. Uh, being that this wheel is much smaller, tire size, and a much uh, shorter stance wheel than my V12, oh. I'm not like uh, Chooch or some of those other crazy guys on YouTube. I can't just go from one wheel to the other. I have to learn all over again. Uh, but I will learn this wheel because I bought this specifically for when we go on our travels. I can just throw it in the car. Real yeah. easy. The other one's very heavy. Yes, it is. The other one is very heavy. Uh, I'll have to overcome the wheel wobbles, which that may be uh, the settings. But uh, I had the wheel wobbles even on the big old V12. And I overcame those. And I can ride that thing pretty good now. I really like that V12. So if you want a nice wheel, I highly recommend the In Motion V12. It's a really good wheel. It's kind of pricey, where this thing costs mm, probably about $800 more than my V12, or less than my V12. But like I said, I do like this wheel. I, these pads are seem comfortable on my legs, and, and I do like the pedals. But I'm going to swirl it over here for now. So now tip it to the left while you're steering it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So the back lights tip to whatever direction you're going. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that's very cool. Now, of course, this wheel doesn't have... Uh, oh, sorry. It doesn't play music like my V12 wheel. But it has a lot of other nice features of really like the fact that this wheel is waterproof. That's amazing. Oh, that's a nice looking wheel. And it's got like a built-in kickstand. Look at that. Very cool. Which okay. is nice. Which, from what I've seen on YouTube, you want to be careful because it will, well, it's pretty sturdy to me. Everyone else has shown it falling over with like a breeze of a a strong breeze. Huh. Mine must be a better wheel. I don't know. I'm not having that problem. Are you going to ride that one now? Uh, no. Now, the V12, I ordered these pedals from Menmotion. They're kind of expensive. Actually, I got them on Amazon. They, I think they were $100. They have little spikes on them. These have the spikes as well, but my riding in, improved so much once I got these pedals. It was like night and day. I should have did it right from the start, especially for a novice or a beginner. Somebody just learning how to ride the wheel. I highly recommend you get those pedals. Um, well, let's see what else is in the box. Let me see what else. Well, I'm going over this wheel as well. Knock on wood. I have never wrecked this wheel. And I guess I'm not much of a beginner if I haven't even wrecked. But like I said, I'm older. I'm more. I'm very cautious. I don't ride faster than my abilities. But you got that up to 29.5, right? Miles per hour? No, I got it to 20 miles an hour. So, you know, which is, which is my comfortable speed. And that's very fast. And 20 miles an hour, if you fall off of it, you're, you're going to get it. hurt really bad because you cannot run 20 miles an hour. 
Yeah. But anyhow, in the box, we have the European charger, which is a European plug. Don't need that. But it also comes with an American plug. So that's it. But I think this is something we, yeah, this is something E Wills does. It even says E Wills on it, which was a nice gift. Thank you, E Wills. Thank you, Eric, if you're listening. Just saved me about $20 and buying another pair. <laughs> because I am missing a wrist guard. And believe me, I fell the other day, and I wasn't on an e-well. I was walking on my driveway wearing those stupid shoes called Crocs. Highly don't recommend them for old guys. They grab a hold of the pavement and they just, and you go head over tea kettle. So I banged up my knee, hurt my wrist, dubbed my finger, had to cut my wedding ring off, bruised up my shoulder, and I was standing still. Reason why I'm very cautious on the EUC. <laughs> so that's the story about that. But anyway, uh, Joking, I'm trying them on. I wish I hadn't been wearing these uh, wrist guards when I was walking the other day. <laughs> <clears throat> but I don't need to try them on. They're, they're the right size, they're extra large. Anyway, people have seen wrist guards before. We're not doing a review on the wrist guards, but they are nice. They are nice. Nicer than your other ones. They are nice. So, anyway, that's it for this unboxing, and uh, thanks for watching.